All right, Robert Clark, executive chef of Sea Restaurant, is with us. Uh, thanks very much for being here. It's my pleasure. <laughs> How are you this morning? Good. Boy, that's, that was good when you put that on a moment ago. A uh, big festival happening tomorrow uh, out at uh, Vanier Park, right for the Maritime Museum. Yeah. And it goes from... Uh, from 12, from noon till 5 p.m. And you're giving away how much pink salmon? Uh, 3,000 pounds. Wow. That's been generously donated by Can Fisco, which is one of the... The uh, fish producing, or one of the fish companies in, in sure, British Columbia, yeah. they're synonymous synonymous with uh, quality fish. And it kind of uh, kind of sh showcased pink salmon, obviously. Yeah, uh, I mean, pink has always been uh, held a special place in my heart for the last 12, 15 years. Well, since I got to BC, mm -hmm. and it, and it's under it's underutilized, it's underappreciated, and it's undervalued. Um, so organizations like the Pacific Salmon Foundation, who are putting on uh, and hosting this uh, this event on Sunday. Sure. Um, we're trying to trying to to bring awareness because it's 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 perceived to be the the lowest the lowest on the totem pole as far as our five Pacific species are concerned. Right. Coho and all that. Other yeah, stuff. yeah, spring, all that other stuff. Exactly, all those <laughs> other ones. It's about pink. It's about pink. And every second year we have a huge pink run. Now, uh, and this is and this is the year. Now, now, why do you think that is? Is because uh, I, I don't. I, yeah. Because it, it taste wise isn't much of a difference. Well, each species tastes different. All, all fish, fish taste different. And, and one of the obstacles that I found over the years is we go, oh, you should try pink salmon, and they try and they go, oh. And in their minds, they're thinking sockeye or spring or something richer. Yeah. But if I say, hey, listen, you got to try this really fancy trout, and they eat it, they go, this is the best trout I've ever eaten in my life, right? <laughs> so it's all they're starting at the wrong place. If you just take pink salmon and okay. appreciate it for its qualities, you're going to love it. Okay, good. All right, well, let's uh, show us how you're prepping this as we cook away. So I'm just simply, yeah, today I'm just simply sautéing a little bit in the pan. I've just got some salt and, and some lemon zest on there. Okay. And we're going to make a very, like, very seasonal salad. Pink salmon come, we start to get access to them in August generally. Okay. Especially the largest amount. Okay. Tomatoes are coming into season. Cucumbers are coming into season. Uh, so I'm combining them all together. Are, at sea, are you uh, a lot like other restaurants that uh, local we're, is? We are, is? we are no unlike any other restaurant. No. <laughs> Actually, we are local and sustainable. That's what Sea's known for. Our sister restaurant, Rain City, is actually the local restaurant. Uh, right. Uh, that's, that, that is their mandate, is to be as local as possible and as seasoned as possible. So you've added the tomatoes in the Yeah, so cucumber. we just got some cucumber, some tomato. I'm just going to add a little pickle, little pickle ginger because it goes great with it, and it's in an ode to... Uh, our cultural diversity. Okay. Now, this is great stuff. Seasoned rice wine vinegar. We get, oh, I've um, never heard of it. Um, they use it for sushi, but it's great salad dressing because it's it's already has the salt and the sugar in it. Okay. So it's a perfect balance, especially if you don't want to use oil. It, it, it's a it's ready now. I don't have to do a right thing in? to it. Just really? pour it right in. Yeah. Interesting. You don't great. have to you don't have to add any uh, any more seasoning, and your salad will will taste phenomenal. Is now I'm dill? gonna. This is some dill. Do you like dill? Love dill. Yeah. Yeah. Dill's very good. Dill rocks. <laughs> dill rocks. And when, be careful when you're cooking salmon. You, yeah. don't, you don't want to overcook it. So tomorrow, we've got uh, all the chefs from all... Well, that basically, anybody that's employed by me and is not working is going to be down at Vanier. <laughs> mandatory, is it? It's mandatory. <laughs> uh, all the chefs are coming down to, to help the Pacific Salmon Foundation get, get the message out that pink... Pink rocks, pink yeah. and rock. They just, they just have people just have to have an opportunity to taste it. An open mind and, and an open mind. And Sunday is going to be uh, the day to come and taste it. Look at so that. So there, I mean, this is this is the essence of summer. I'm now. I said that this is perfect without oil, but I happen to like oil. Yeah. So I'm just going to add a little bit of little drizzle there. A little drizzle of some extra virgin olive oil to give it a few calories and. There you go. Now, is pink, is pink a good salmon for the barbecue? Pink is great for everything. I mean, it, it's it's much more delicate than, say, a sockeye. Okay. And I try, well, with all fish, I try to do as little as possible to it. Uh, for me, it's about sourcing quality ingredients and letting them speak for themselves. Okay. But with pink, I don't I don't like bring in garlic and these sorts of things. But it's all personal taste. Yeah. The real the real important thing is is to is to treat it gently. Okay. So on a barbecue, I wrap it in aluminum foil, throw it on the barbecue, and let her, let, let her steam in its own its own juices. Type thing. Biggest mistakes that uh, we just got about a minute left. But biggest okay. mistakes people make when they're cooking salmon. Overcook it. Really, that's the big yeah. number one, eh? Yeah. They, How do you know when it's done? And, and undercook it too, like the sense. Well, it's it's much more difficult when it's uh, when it's been taken off the bone. But as an apprentice, I always taught how to keep cook a piece of fish perfectly yeah. is you have like say salmon steaks you sometimes see in the market sure. well say if you're pan frying that the second that uh, that backbone is can release from the flesh the fish is perfect okay. but in today's society young chefs we actually they all undercook 
the fish because you're not supposed to overcook it. So what they do is they undercook it. Okay. And and our, you know it's it's acceptable in Vancouver. We like our fish undercooked, but to say cooked properly. Uh, very few chefs can actually cook a piece of fish properly. All right, well, I'm going to try this real quick. Oh, please. The salmon looks really good. You need a knife? No. Not with salmon. <laughs> really good. I'm going to get some of the uh, vegetables. Eat my veggies. Very healthy. Mm. I should have put less salt. I know you don't That's like salt. That's really good. I love the dill. I'm a big dill fan. Well I'm done. Some more on. Okay. <laughs> You're so good. Whatever I say. Thanks very much. It's eh? my pleasure. Let's get and the details. Are we going to see you tomorrow? Of course. The Pink okay. Salmon Festival from noon until 5. It's Haddon Park in Vancouver. Haddon Park. For more information, check out uh, the website there, psf.ca, and check it out. And there's a lot of salmon to be given away. So bring the family. and Bring uh, the family. And it's not, I mean, we want to feed you pink salmon. <laughs> we got rolls and coleslaw and uh, Ronnie Suchuk, the barbecue yeah. master, he's going to be down there. Rockin barbecue Ronnie. and Rock and Ronnie. <laughs> we got a special guest from Victoria, going to chef from Victoria, going to be there. Wow. Family day. That's all good to go. It's good to go. Chef, thanks very much. It Appreciate my, it. It was my pleasure.